My dear viewers, hello and welcome to a new episode of our program, Cultural Magazine, during which we bring you the latest cultural events that are taking place in Egypt. Please stay tuned. Cairo Opera House plays a significant role in the cultural movement that is taking place in Egypt. Please stay tuned. In accord with the Cairo Opera House's cultural mission to revive world art classics and stage internationally acclaimed opera productions, the Cairo Opera Company presented two one-act operas, Cavalleria Rusticana by Pietro Mascani and Pagliacci by Rogero Leoncavallo. Debecting dramatic stories of love, betrayal and revenge, the two famous Italian operas have been frequently performed together in Cavalleria Rusticana. The frivolous Lula reestablishes a relationship with her former lover, whom her husband kills in accordance with an ancient Sicilian costume. You have to work a lot, the history of each music you do, and the period of it, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of work for a conductor to do that. It's not an easy thing. Sometimes they think that conductors are, uh, it's an easy thing to do, and I think it's the most difficult thing, because you are the responsible for each note you hear. You like it or not, it's from the conductor. Is, is it boring? Is it very exciting? It's the conductor. So sometimes some concerts that you are like, like this. And I have to say this is one of the most uh, difficult thing that you keep the attention of the orchestra. Then the public will follow immediately. This is composers, but conductors I like very much. Uh, I mean, Karayan, one of the most impressive for me. And I love very much watching him and learn a lot. I mean, you learn a lot from every school. French conductors, German conductors. Uh, uh, and then in the end, you have your own way of conducting. Then even, I mean, in, in music, you don't have a, a border. You, have to, you don't have a country. So you can find me, for example, conducting in France and French opera. Uh, you can see in Germany a Russian conductor f conducts a Czech opera or a German opera. I mean, we don't have, uh, it's a universal language, the music. It's not an easy thing to, to conduct a, an Arabic concert one night and then the other night you do a symphony for, uh, I don't know, French music, then Russian music, then German music and uh, each concert has his own school, so you have to be really ready and work a lot. And then you do ballet, it's a different kind of technique and conducting uh, way of uh, also dealing with the orchestra. And also for opera, it's completely different because you have choir, singers and ballet also. Opera is always the, the most complete thing. So it's not an easy thing, but uh, you can do it or not. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, to be a conductor and a principal conductor for uh, such a big house like here, you have to be ready for all the changes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pagliacci tells the tale of Canio, an actor who kills his attractive young wife Nida and her lover on stage during a performance. Both stories end with a jealousy-driven murder. The passionate intensity of their music has bestowed timeless longevity upon these two operas, which are until today core works of repertoire at opera houses across the world. Tonight's performance was uh, Cavalleria Rusticana by Mascani, and it's uh, one of the Verissimo operas, one of the most beautiful ones, and uh, my role is Mama Lucia, is actually the mother of Torrido, uh, the, 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 the main character in uh, this opera. Um, and uh, she is, uh, all the time she is anxious and uh, she, she knows that there is something wrong uh, going on, so uh, at the end she's very sad because of uh, the death of her son. First of all, the Verissimo has its own character, and uh, we should, before performing any role, we should study the era and the, the epoch in which it was written, the opera. So the Verissimo is more about uh, the feelings and uh, even the music, the orchestration is very rich and very strong. Uh, so it's very passionate, so you need so much passion in singing uh, these dramatic roles. very happy to uh, work with Maestro Nader Abbesi because he is uh, an international maestro and we are very lucky to have such a great maestro, Egyptian maestro like Nader Abbesi. He is very <coughs> precise in everything. Uh, he doesn't let the minor detail go. He is always on perfection. So it's, uh, it's a joy and it's to work with him. So it's a very good addition, of course, that we, uh, especially this kind of operas, the Verissimo, uh, needs so much culture uh, with a ma for a maestro to conduct such operas. Actually, it's my debut in, uh, in uh, Cavalleria Rusticana. It's the first time for me to sing the role of Mama Lucia. So how was the other did, you, did you try to do other performances, other characters before? No, not in the same opera. I did so many characters, but in different different operas. Uh, but uh, in Cavalleria Rusticana, it's my uh, debut, so it's my first time to sing in uh, Cavalleria Rusticana.
The two productions are directed by Dr. Abdullah Saad with the participation of the Cairo Opera Orchestra under the baton of Maestro Nader Abbasi and the Cairo Opera Choir, coached by Mina Hanna, dances and choreography by Sharif Ramadan, lightning by Yasser Shalen, and set design by Muhammad Abdel Reze. Singing is a fine art that combines strong voices and theatrical performances in a magical way. And since the founding of the Cairo Opera Company here in Egypt in 1964 and up till now, there is a massive increase in the audience whom are fond of this beautiful art. Shuru Bikir, Cultural Magazine. Well, uh, the camera of our program is always going after the cultural events uh, that are taking place uh, in Egypt. Please stay tuned. <laughs> Since the Cairo Opera House is keen to present all types of art, the renowned Egyptian-German artist Monobor Kahard held a concert accompanied by Las Encantadoras Orchestra with her dazzling beautiful movements on stage from Pasa Doble and some folk Spanish dances which decorated the night. something called Paso Doble. This is a, a, a Spanish folk uh, tradition, the tradition of Spain, and a uh, little bit gypsy with a little bit Latin, classical Latin. And uh, we like that uh, all Egyptians know anything about Paso Doble because this uh, 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 tradition is not uh, knowing here in, in Egypt. And this is uh, a, a little bit shame to know. In the beginning, I was uh, uh, studying the French school and uh, I learned French, English, and then uh, by luck I was married from a German man, so I have to learn German and we live in Germany since a uh, long, long time. And now we come back to Egypt uh, since three, three and a half years. And uh, the Spanish language, I know it from the heart uh, because it's nearly nearest from the French language. I can't 
talk a little bit, but I understand it. I can sing it. Uh, I learn in the opera here uh, 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 private lessons for opera, how I sing, how, how I bring my voice uh, right. And then I learn in the Royal School, English Royal School. And then the dancing, which was a talent, what God created me. Uh, and then I learned the technique in Germany, how I dance uh, Latin, uh, especially the, uh, the, the, the classical Latin, uh, like the rumba, the samba, the paso doble, the jive, the cha cha cha. Uh, this is what's called under name uh, 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 the, the, the salon dance, the dance of the salon. And uh, yeah, I come to Egypt to uh, introduce this uh, culture, and I hope that it's. Uh, but I, 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 I found that it's uh, uh, it's uh, a lot of people uh, from a lot uh, a lot of categories accept this, uh, especially when we had uh, last uh, last year in September uh, at the Citadel. Uh, normally, the dancing, uh, any any kind of dancing, need a big space that you can move uh, free. Uh, but okay, I learn uh, how I can move in, in a very uh, one meter by one meter, so this is uh, no problem. <laughs> concert which entitled Spanish Folk, Gypsy and Latin Night presented a variety of international Andalusian and folk Spanish songs including Spania Cañe, La Morena de Mecubla, Veneno, El Moreno, La Luna de Mingano, Ujitos Traidores, Viento de la Arena, Fuego, Garluche and many other songs. Uh, special the, the Paso Doble and then we put a little bit more uh, French uh, songs also the music under name Paso Doble and uh, a classical Latin plus the gypsy what we can play for gypsy king and we we make a little bit this is nothing to do to learn to learn you should learn after your talent you should have at first the talent of the language of the the feeling it's coming in my blood uh, and then you can learn the technique, how to spell, how to move, how to put your steps so and so and so. And the, in English, in Germany, we say Hüfte, Hüfte, this place. How you like the, yeah, when you, you are in, in front of the Torino, how you be strong, how your body. At first, you should be sportive to have this all. Together. Pasa Doble is not so far from the Egyptian, from the culture of the Egyptian culture. It's nearest, 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 but what I can see that the people, uh, a lot of people don't accept any other. Uh, and what's make me angry that the German who like them language, they never change to, to talk German other language. They accept all other tradition, all other languages, all other uh, things coming from outside. And we are so sad that the Egyptians don't accept. But alhamdulillah, we have a few of people accept now and coming step by step to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Spain, to, to, to Spain, to Egypt also, and for this I start here in Egypt. I did that in, in Germany and they accepted and they liked so much. And uh, I hope the next step will be in Spain. Yeah, you are welcome, you are welcome, thank you. Work hard, 
sings in French, English and Spanish in addition to Arabic. She also mastered classical Latin and Spanish dances and formed the Enchanting Melodies Orchestra in 2014. Today we make we make a different a little bit a little, yeah, I mean the program will be a little bit different than the others because we um, we know that people uh, the dose uh, Spanish dose is is very hard for them so we uh, cut it with some French songs two or three French songs and English also so to make to make a collection so we we, we, we write uh, on our uh, for publicity we write Sp classic classical Latin and Spanish folk not only Spanish folk cross. We have uh, two projects, yeah, a Spanish project, like w what we're gonna do t tonight, okay, and the other, I think you said before, international project. So this is, it depends on uh, yeah, the concert will be where, <laughs> where we're gonna play. Yeah. <laughs> Spanish folk night entwined with a variety of international Andalusian, French and English songs accompanied by Pasa Double, Gypsy and Classical Latin show, another proof that culture is an essential bridge between different nations. Shurubikir, Cultural Magazine. The Ministry of Culture in Egypt is always keen on preserving heritage because uh, Egypt is the land of civilization.
The Arab Music Institute, affiliated to the Cairo Opera House, recently witnessed a concert by Azines Music and Singing Band under the artistic leadership of the maestro Dr. Meged Surur, along with the band. The Azines Music and Singing Band is supervised by Dr. Sameh Abdelaziz. The band presented a group of songs from the good old days. Singer Mohammed Sarhan sang one of uh, Mohammed Qandil's masterpieces. Singer Osama Sayyid presented the Rim Shainu, or the beauty of his eyes. While the singer uh, Hanan Mokbel uh, presented a sweet song for the legendary Shadia, who told you to live in our neighborhood or mean Alektos kun faharetna. And singer Sotfa performed a duet, Ay Zarawah, or I Want to Go Home, which was Suad Muhammad and Ismail Yassin's song. The concert concluded with an artistic performance by the guest artist vocalist Wa'il El Fashni and artist Maryam Turki. Az and As Band was formed in 1994 at the Faculty of Law Ain Shams University Singing and Choir Team. Then it was re-established in 2018 from an elite group of the finest and most beautiful Egyptian voices who won uh, singing awards at festivals inside Egypt and abroad. The Azines Music and Singing Band, under the slogan Sing for All, has announced the presentation of different types of singing suitable for Egyptians and Arabs. <laughs> 